This is a brief screencast overview of uh, this particular table. I will do this periodically throughout the course. It'll just be in one take because there's no editing in the middle of a lecture. And so when I screw up, I'll just screw up and correct it in real time, just like real life. I want to discuss a little bit um, these ideas of why science and why data actually matter to society in general, but in particular to environmental problems via the three points that I've listed in each of these two columns. It's been my observation over now teaching a few decades that in general, science has been devalued. It's not respected as a process for how you can interrogate a system, how you can ask questions about the world, and how you can learn. I think the common view of science, of course, is that it's a collection of facts that equals the truth, and that is complete crap. Science is a process that maps out everything that you don't know about a phenomena. And if you embrace that uncertainty, you have half a chance of coming up with problem solutions. That's the value of data. Data can cut through bullshit faster than anything else if the data is good. And you need to go where the data leads. Far too often, however, most undergo a confirmation analysis where you already know the truth so you just look at data to find the truth that you already know. To some extent, that does happen in climate change science, and we'll discuss that later in the course. But data should be an unbiased exploration journey at which you discover new stuff in data and illuminate new aspects of the problem. And this is particularly important for complex systems like environmental systems where we need really good data and really good monitoring to determine the state of the system and its evolution. And in the world of sensor net, wireless communications, high-speed computers, we're actually getting to the point where we can start to monitor the behavior of the planet on real time. Uh, you may have a homework exercise about this, as NASA has some interesting real-time satellites just launched now. Science is a discovery process more than anything else, and data is a way to talk about environmental problems in an objective manner. There's nothing like good data to illuminate a problem, as I state. And if you follow that data, and if you make data-driven decisions from an objective basis, you can actually get a handle on a problem. You cannot solve problems by pronouncements, the current fad in our current White House. You can only solve problems by understanding them at a quantitative level, understanding the necessary scale of solution, and all of that requires scientific reasoning, and it's a skill that will always serve one well and will serve society well. So that's it for this screencast. More later. All this will be uploaded to my YouTube channel and uh, embedded in the course pages. Later.